Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build my instant pool version 2. So the first version I created was about three years ago and this tutorial is very well overdue. So I've finally done it. Now the improvements that have been made to this instant pool is that it is infinitely expandable. So you can create any size you want with this, which is really awesome. Now it works as normal, we flick the lever here, but another cool thing is that it has like this nice little animation as well. So as you can see, it revealed the pool by these kind of two wide segments. How cool is that? So I guess you could say that is another improvement as well. It's got a nice little animation when you open it up. Before we start, I just want to remind you guys of the Redstone Hub. It's where you can find all my Redstone tutorials. The good thing about it is you're able to sort all my tutorials by either their category or difficulty. Now while you're watching the tutorial, you can find a list of the materials below. Clicking on them will actually take you to the wiki page. Now if you want to check it out, I'll put a card up on the screen right now, or you can go ahead and download the brand new app. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how you can build this now. So the materials that you are going to need is 7 redstone dust, 60 redstone torches, 20 redstone repeaters, 41 sticky pistons, 1 block of redstone, 1 lever, 2 buckets of water, 30 slabs of your choice, 40 blocks of your choice, and that's going to be used as the filler for the pool and then 64 blocks of your choice which we'll use for placing redstone on. So the first thing that we're going to do is dig an 8 wide by 5 long by 7 deep hole. So let's go ahead and let's do that now. So dig out one block here then we're going to, we're going to go 7 blocks to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then we're going to go 4 blocks to the back here. So one, two, three, four. Then dig to the left until you get in line with the start again. And then dig back to the start here. Dig out the blocks in the center. And then now we need to dig this down six more layers. So this is going to take a while, but ensure that you dig down six more layers and it should be seven layers deep in total. So that's three deep so far, we need to dig down four more layers. We've dug down five now, we're just going to do two more. And finally the last one. So here's our hole. What we're going to do is come to the left side here of the hole and we're going to start placing down some blocks. So get out your 64 blocks of choice and on this end uh, column here we're going to place a line of blocks all at the bottom here. We're going to leave a space and then do exactly the same again. Leave another space, do it again and then one more time. And then on top of these blocks, we're going to place all redstone torches. Now coming from the right here, we're going to lead redstone repeaters um, going through all these blocks until you get to the end here. So like this, so like that, we might actually uh, do this sideways though, just to make it easier. Oops. And then for a cool effect, we're going to right click each repeater once. Now we're going to get our blocks of choice again and you need to place them on top of all the torches.
Now we actually need to hop on top of there, so let's just uh, get our block here. And then what you want to do is starting from this first one over here, we want to put redstone torches on the right side of the blocks, so all along this side here, and then also on top, and then do that for the other ones as well, so on the right side and on top of it. Then on top of the redstone torches that are on the side, you're going to place blocks. Now get your sticky pistons and we're going to place them all on top of this, all of these blocks and torches facing upwards. So you want to start, uh, we can start on this block here then start covering over the torches there. So literally just cover all this, make a floor of sticky pistons facing upwards. And then you want to get your 40 blocks of choice, place them on top of the sticky pistons. Now we're going to dig out the border blocks of this, so it's all the grass around the edge of these um, 40 blocks here. So dig out the grass around the edge. And then we're going to place our water down now. So place it all along the edge here. Now we're going to create an unlimited water source. So we've got unlimited water source there now. So if we come over this side, place one there. And then we just keep going this way. So literally just keep filling it up until it's completely full. Oh, whoops. Oh, almost done. Now once you've filled it all up, we're going to get our slabs and place it on top of the water around the border here. So I'm just going to place a block here temporarily. So place slabs around the edge here till you get back to the start. Then you want to come to the right side of the pool here and what we're going to do is go to the center so um, we've got seven wide here so the middle is the fourth block here. We're going to go two blocks to the right and then we're going to dig down four blocks. So one, two, three, four. Then what we need to do is create stairs deck going down towards the pool here. So dig the two blocks in front of you, then dig down one block, two in front of you, then dig down one block. Now we need to dig out the blocks behind each repeater except for the center one here. So dig out the blocks there and also the ones above it. Get your redstone and what we're going to do is lay it behind each, each of the uh, repeaters here and on top of that block. And then also coming up to our top of the stairs here. Get your sticky piston and what we're going to do is place it at the top of the hole here facing downwards and then a block of redstone underneath it. Now you're going to have to find a way to get back up to the top but I'm sure you can just do um, a simple little path. We might just do it. So I'm just going to dig out here till we get back up. Oops. And then on top of the piston here place a block and then a lever on the left face here. And if we go ahead and we flick this, 
It's gonna close the pool. If we unflick it, the pool's gonna come back on. So that is the construction complete and it's pretty much ready to use now. What I'm gonna do now is explain to you guys how this actually works. So I'm actually gonna go into, I think game mode three is spectator mode. Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and let's start with this lever over here because this obviously controls the whole system. So what happens when we flick this lever here is it powers the piston underneath. So it extends and retracts it. If it's retracted, basically it's gonna turn off this redstone here Turn off this redstone, turning off these repeaters, which allows these torches here to come on. These torches here power the block above, and as you can see, we've got um, five torches here on the side and five torches there uh, on the top of it. These become unpowered, which and these unpower the pistons above, and that basically retracts them. Once all these pistons here are retracted, the water starts filling up the area, and as we know, we've basically got a border of water around the edges here. Because of that border, it's automatically going to create an unlimited water source in the center of the pool here. And then it's pretty obvious when we flick the lever again, it's going to um, do the same. So it's going to turn off this turn on this redstone here, turning off these torches, um, and then allowing these ones to come on, which will then extend the pistons back up, um, destroying the water sources in the middle here, but making sure that the ones on the side there um, are still like, yeah, they're still there. <laughs> So hopefully that explains how it works. Now I said at the start of the video I wanted now I said at the start of the video that this is actually infinitely expandable and I wanted to show you guys how you can actually expand your pool to any size. So basically the one we created was an 8 long by 5 wide. So how I actually did this, this is one of the components here. So if we actually flick this, it's going to push the pistons up. If we flick that down, it's going to push them or retract them. Uh, what I did was basically copied this component here and pasted it four times this way and then to get the eight long I basically pasted the component four times this uh, I think uh, three more times in this direction so you can imagine there's gonna be another one here so exactly the same as that and I kept doing that again so that's pretty much how you actually expand it if you want to keep going you just have to expand it sideways so we could go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten long and then you would exactly build um, all these components again and then eventually what that will do is you'll come to a point where uh, you need a, you'll have like a floor of uh, all your piston things up like that uh, and then again you'll do it in this direction as well so you might do one two, three, four, and five, maybe a very, a very large pool. So you can imagine you just have to repeat this process of again of post pasting all these single components in again. Again, you would do it here. You do it for each row there. Uh, I'm not going to show you because obviously that would take quite some time, but I hopefully you get the idea of how you can actually expand this. I'm sure most of you will. So guys, that's going to end off this tutorial today. If you enjoyed, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any ideas for redstone tutorials, let me know down in the comments below and subscribe to keep up to date with all my newest tutorials. And I will see you guys later. Bye.